Hello everyone, this is Kushal. In my previous video, we saw uh, how to create an, a site-to-site -site IPsec tunnel between two Palo Alto firewalls. So if you uh, want to uh, watch that, you can just uh, refer my uh, previous video on that. And uh, in this video, I will be uh, show, I, I will be demonstrating how to uh, run a dynamic routing protocol uh, between two firewalls uh, connected uh, through an IPsec VPN tunnel. So basically, uh, I'll be running OSPF uh, on on, on these two firewalls uh, connected uh, through a, a VPN tunnel. And we'll do, uh, do some uh, route advertisements uh, uh, through the tunnel, okay? So this is the uh, setup I have. There is one PA, uh, there is one firewall PA1, uh, which has one loopback uh, interface, uh, and it is, uh, and on the other end, we have uh, Palo Alto firewall PA2, which has uh, two loopback interfaces, and there is an IPsec uh, tunnel created between them, okay? So let me open up the firewall. Let me bring this picture at the bottom of the screen so that you can refer it. Okay, so this is the firewall one, uh, which you can see on the diagram. And uh, this has uh, one loopback interface and you can see the tunnel, which is already created and uh, it is up and running fine. As I've said, if you want to see how did I create it, you can refer my previous video. This is the firewall 2, and it has Ethernet 1 slash 2 interface, which is uh, the outside interface. It has uh, two loopback interfaces. And uh, let's go to tunnels. And this is the tunnel which is created and which is up and running fine. So what I'll do is uh, I'll, be, uh, uh, I'll be running OSPF between these two firewalls. Okay, through the tunnel. Uh, so let's go to virtual routers default, static routes, So currently my connectivity is through static routes. Now what I want to do is I don't uh, want to create static routes. I just want to advertise the subnets, the local subnets through SPF. Okay, so I'll just delete them. Go to SPF, enable it, give it a router ID. Ideally it is the any, inter any inter interface IP on the local firewall, you give it, give it as router ID. Let's create one area ID and uh, let me give it area zero. Okay, and the in, in the interface section, I will be enabling OSPF on the tunnel interface. Okay, so this is the tunnel which which is uh, associated with that uh, IPsec VPN. So I, I'll select that. Uh, you can also select uh, authorize auth authentication profile if you want to authenticate the peers. Okay. So the area has been created, OSPF has been enabled on the tunnel interface. And uh, let's, let us let us go to redistribution profile and let's uh, give it. So uh, I'll be advertising some static routes. So let me name it. As a static, give it priority one and uh, just click on static okay and click on redistribute so what this will do is it will redistribute, redistribute all static routes on the local firewall to the other end okay if that is no, not what you want you can select specific destinations uh, and uh, to uh, to advertise and it will only advertise those specific subnets okay uh, now let's create some static routes also for demonstration so Let's say 11.0. Let him let me point it to internal interface. So I want to advertise this static route uh, on the peer end, okay? And in my case, I also have the loopback interfaces, okay? Uh, I want to advertise uh, uh, the subnets of my loopback interfaces also through OSPF uh, to the other end. 
so let me pull up the putty and show you how it looks so this is my firewall one and uh, show routing route and uh, this is my uh, loopback interface subnet okay 1.1 1 .1, as you can see on the diagram also so this is uh, neither a static route nor a whole nor, nor a connected route okay this is a host route so okay uh, so let me show you how to advertise uh, the host routes so this is uh, in, in in your scenario you would probably have uh, uh, proper uh, static routes with subnets so you just uh, uh, don't need to implement uh, this step but in, in my lab environment i have i want to uh, advertise the loopback interfaces so that's why i am doing this so you go to export rules and uh, mention directly the subnet which you want to advertise This is my loopback subnet which i want to advertise right so i'll just uh, create a export rule for this and uh, one more export rule for the static routes which we created right okay so that that, uh, that is also selected so uh, this will advertise the static routes and this will advertise my loopback subnet and uh, since in this setup i uh, i was not uh, I, I didn't uh, do ospf while i configured the vpn tunnel so this is one important step you need to uh, do uh, you go to the tunnel interface which you have created and you need to give an ip address uh, on the tunnel interface ideally if you, if you if you are not uh, running a dynamic protocol dynamic routing protocol or uh, or not doing any natting on the tunnel you don't need uh, ipv4 address but uh, since we are uh, doing gospf you need uh, to give an ip address on the tunnel interface so let me give it a free ip Okay, and uh, the other end will also have uh, an IP on the tunnel and they should be uh, in the same subnet, okay? So, the rest of the configurations are already in place. So I, I already have uh, security policies to allow that traffic. If you want, you can have a look at it, which I created in in my previous video and also uh, 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 just FYI, fyi i also have uh, one detailed video on ospf uh, in which i have uh, done uh, i have configured ospf between two palo alto firewalls which are connected directly so that is a detailed video if you want to have a look at okay so just let me commit it we are almost done on this firewall and let us go to other firewall and we'll have to repeat uh, the same steps uh, here also so let us go to routing and uh, virtual router static routes and let me delete this one because i don't need that td fusion profile so let me configure a profile and redistribute static routes Okay, and enable OSPF. I will have to give the same area uh, ID which I configured on the other end. And select the tunnel interface. On this firewall, it is tunnel.1. Okay. And in the export rules, I will advertise uh, first of all the uh, loopback interface subnets. Okay, since I have two loopback on this side, I have two rules and one for the static rule. Okay, and let us create some sample routes uh, which can be redistributed. Interface, let's see internal. 
Okay, this is my gateway. Oops, uh, sorry, I just created. This is my gateway, okay. Static route is done, so I will advertise uh, this static route to the other end. Okay, so let me click on OK. And uh, let me show you the policies as well on this end. So these are my security policies, which allows the traffic uh, between loopback interfaces on both the firewalls. And uh, let me give the, the IP to the tunnel interface now. Okay, and let me commit it. Okay, so the commit has done. So let me close it and let's check the uh, VPN tunnel first. It is uh, up and running. And now let us check the virtual routers and go to more runtime stats. And here we'll see whether the uh, OSPF routes are uh, have been advertised. Okay, you can see that uh, the OSPF routes uh, have uh, been propagated. So this is the loopback interface of other end, which is uh, uh, come here, which has come here through OSPF, and you can see this has O2. O2 means uh, OSPF external type two, and the interface it shows correctly as uh, tunnel dot one. And this is the static route which we created on the other end, which has also been advertised here. Okay. And uh, the OSPF, uh, this is the area, this is the interface, and this is the neighborship uh, with the uh, other firewall. And uh, note that the uh, neighbor address is uh, the IP address of the uh, tunnel interface. And it is in full state, it has to be in full state. Okay, let's close this and let's verify the same things on this firewall as well. So let us first go to the tunnel. Uh, the tunnel is uh, up and now let us go and check the OSPF neighborship. So in here also there is a route. Uh, this is the loopback interface of the other end and it is going through the tunnel lot 2 which is correct. This is the loopback in second loopback interface of the other end, and this is the static route which we created on the other end, right? So all the routes uh, have been uh, come properly, as have been advertised properly, and in the OSPF neighborship, you will see that it, this is also in the full state. Now let uh, let us check the connectivity. Okay, so this is my firewall one. So let me ping the loopback interface of the other end. Ping from local loopback to the other loopback. Yep, it's pingable. Let's check the other IP also. Yep, it's pingable. So without adding any static routes uh, for uh, these two subnets, right, it is able to ping to the other side. Now let's check the connectivity on the second firewall also. This is my firewall two. Ping source from this local local loopback to. Yep, it's pingable. Let's check from the other interface also. And yep, this is also pingable. So yes, uh, connectivity is fine. Everything is working good. So that's it, guys. Uh, so this is how you create uh, uh, the dynamic routing protocol on uh, on a VPN tunnel and advertise uh, static routes as well as uh, other kind of routes like loopback or directly connected routes. And uh, do have a, a look, look at my uh, detailed OSPF video if you want to uh, see uh, uh, all the features which I've uh, demonstrated there. And uh, in this video, uh, that's it for now. Uh, I hope it was uh, useful and uh, thank you for watching.